Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm James. Um, today we have a um, very, very tiny job. I don't think you can even see that. There's the wheel, and there's the center shaft. It's going to be out of. I'm sure that's going to be out of. Well, there it is. Okay. Um, this is the center shaft out of a um, Vienna regulator and the very very tip of that has a very small hole in it Let's see if we can do that a very small hole in it that the collet pin goes through to hold the hands on um, and that hole is broken off that hole is gone. The end of the end of the shaft broke off. So, the question is how to fix that. And uh, let me move the camera, and I'll give you an idea how I want to do it. I think I've got that zoomed in about as far as I can. The the reason this broke. The reason this broke is somebody filed this shaft down for some reason, I don't know why it doesn't have to be that way, but they filed it down to where there was no material left around the hole and the first time they put a collar pin through it, it broke. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a piece of pivot wire and you've seen that before and um, we're going to, this is very hard, so we're going to anneal it, we're going to soften it, then we're going to drill a hole through the end of this. This is hard to do because it's so small right here. We're going to drill a, a 30 thousandths hole through the end of that. And then we'll, when we get, if that works, we'll put a tenon on the end of it, cut this off the right length, put a tenon on the end of it here, drill a hole in here, and um, put that in there. Okay? Um, so the first thing we have to do is anneal it. When you harden a piece of metal to make it hard, you heat it up to the proper temperature, usually in iron, it's, or it's uh, about 1500 degrees, which is cherry red. And then you, you, depending on which metal it is, you either quench it in oil or brine or air. Uh, sometimes you just let it air dry or cool off in the air. Uh, so this one we're not going to to anneal it then you do the same thing you heat it up but you don't quench it you just let it cool and this for this that should work just fine okay if we hold this way out the other end I think it'll it work. Now since we're going to turn a piece of this down, we're going to anneal about two or three inches of it. And you should be able to see it. Get red a little easier. That's plenty hot enough. Along in there is where we're going to cut it off.
That's good. Okay, now we'll just let that air cool. Now, we got to drill a hole, a 30,000th hole through the end of that. And the question is how to hold it. So we're going to use this tool that I made. This is uh, just a Morse taper blank, Morse taper one blank. And I machined this off flat, turned this round, and then I put a, a uh, get a pointer. I put a 45 degree angle groove right through the very center of it there. I'm going to turn the light back on. Right through the center here. And there's a, a hole right there in the very very center so when if the, when the drill goes through it doesn't hit that it doesn't hit this it just it hits it goes into the hole. So I was trying to figure out how to do this. And I decided the best way is epoxy. So we're going to put this in there like that. Line it up exactly where we want the hole. It's so small it's really hard to see. And we're going to epoxy this pivot wire into that space. Okay? Okay, we've got that, uh, got the wire. God, that's hard to see. We have the wire epoxied where we want it, right down the bottom of the groove, and the end of it's over the center so that our hole is right in the right place. I think that's going to work. Nope, it's going to hit the camera. Hold on a minute. I'm going to turn it around that way. There's no way I can get in there to get a better picture, but uh, it's all you can almost see it. It's close as I can get. The end of that uh, center drill is thirty thousandths. It's pretty small. It's also a carbide center drill. Okay. There we have the center drill hold, <laughs> the center hole drilled. Um, I forgot to tell you that I filed a very small flat on the on the uh, one side of that uh, wire too, just to give us a better chance. It's pretty hard to drill into the round side. Here's our uh, our thirty thousandths drill, also carbide. See a little better. Like that. Okay, here's our new shaft, center shaft, with the hole in it. It's really hard to get that. Anyway, uh, now we want to put this in here and turns the end of it down so that it will go in the uh, 
the other part of the center shaft that we're going to cut off. taking a couple thou at a time here so it takes a while to sneak up on it there we go very slow please One thou, one thou at a time. Now we want to mic that. Point zero thirty. That's perfect. Just what we want. This is the shaft we're replacing, and we're going to replace it from from right here at the end of that bearing up here. We're going to replace that section. So we need to cut this off right there and the drill drill it out to point zero thirty okay we're ready to uh, drill the end of this uh, arbor out and we've switched lathes we're now in the Mosley number two watchmaker lathe uh, because um, there's no way to hold this wheel uh, in the in the hardage um, We've got it by just by the nub of, of the end of the of the shaft on the back side of the of the wheel. And now we have to make sure that this is centered. So we we take this piece of brass. There we are. Sorry. There we are. Take this piece of brass, center drill the end of it, so we've got a cone in there. Put it in the tailstock. That's better. Put it in the tailstock. Move it up to the end of the shaft, like that. And then when we run it, we can push the tailstock up like that until it's absolutely you can you can see that this is dead center now right here 
now before we move anything we have to run our our um, steady rest up this is small work here Okay, now we remove our cone center there, and we should be just fine. This is still dead center. Now we take the cone center out and replace it with a, uh, a, zero, a point zero thirty drill. We've got our center drill in here. And uh, we're about to just center drill this to get the hole started just perfectly. Well, that's harder than I thought it was. Now we'll go to the drill. I'm going to put a little spot of oil on these I hope there and maybe right here too You can see the process here, so I'm going to finish the hole and I'll be back. Almost done with the hole. You don't want to drive anything too fast when you're, uh, when you're drilling a hole. You know, four or five hundred RPM is plenty. There. Now we'll see if our tenon fits in there. Perfect. That's going to be just fine. Now we'll put that in there with some. Uh, now, first we'll wash it off with some acetone, make sure there's no oil on it, and then we'll put that in with some uh, uh, thread locker and we'll put it back into we'll put that centering cone back in here and let it hold it together there while it sets up There you can see the hole in the end. Let that 
acetone dry just a little bit. That's a nice fit. And we center it on here. Lock that. And that should be a perfect job. Get ready to... I'll leave it in there till tomorrow and then we'll uh, polish this shaft a little bit. Okay, it's the next day, and uh, there's our finished product. Um, came out really nice. It's dead centered, and I don't know if you can see the hole in the end or not. There you go. There's a 30 thousandths hole in a 50 thousandths piece of wire. <laughs> so, very good. Thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe and comment. I try to answer all the comments, and uh, like, that helps me, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.